I can guarantee you now that this second series probably won't be as good as the first series. But I can tell you that there will be more shit jokes and there will be more shit puns, so don't worry. But we'll get right into it because I'm sure we won't want to babble on. So I'm going to name my manager fucking hilariously. <laughs> Bend over. What are you like 12, Chris? I think for the three languages, I should pick the most popular ones. So let's go for Kenya Wanda, Lechberks, and Wolof. Well, I'm definitely going to get a lot of jobs then. Oh shit, I forgot to show you which leagues are loaded up. So I've picked the most difficult leagues or the ones where you need to pay to actually win the league. Uh, so I've picked like Australia, USA, Belgium because I fucking hate Belgium. Fuck, only needed two more players for the Nazi formation. I am now the manager of Chicago Fire. Ah oh, shit, I don't know the MLS rules. Wait, just pause a second. Wait, my assistant manager is Mark Bircham. The Mark Bircham who used to play for Yeovil. Bloody hell, at least his career's gone uphill since he retired. Shit on my chest and call me Betty. Look how many rules there are. Okay, that is definitely the title of this series. Attempting to play in the MLS. Okay, so my best player is a Wigan reject. He's obviously not going to be the next Marvin Sordolino, but he's the next best thing, so... So my chief scout says that Maynor Figueroa is up there with Lionel Messi. Well, I better bloody get him to Chicago now then. Well, I might as well look at one of my other scout's recommendations now. Jimmy Traore! <laughs> you know, I'm actually looking for suggestions that will improve the team, not take it backwards. What am I, the England national team? Hendry Thomas. Fuck off, is he 29? He looks like he's in his early 70s. I really am a fucking idiot. So, when I was loading up the game, I forgot to change the start date. So, I started the game in July, which is about three quarters into the MLS season. So, I'm basically about five or six games from the end of the season. Well, sorry, lads. It looks like I won't be getting main or Figueroa. So, I got one of my scouts to get a report on Yannick Sagbo, you know, the ex Hull City striker. And he has the audacity to tell me he'll be a quality signing. Are you being serious? Get the fuck out of here. Am I going to sign him though? Look, until someone else decides to do the same sort of videos, you're going to have to put up with this. So I've just gone into my inbox and I've just seen a player has been waived by Dallas. What the fuck does that mean? Okay, so I went into the wave list and I find out that I'm 11th in the order. What the hell? Now I've been offered Fabio Rockenback. What is this, a trip down memory lane? Okay, so apparently I have a game now against Toronto FC. And once again, I don't know any of these players other than Sean Maloney, so I'm going to have to get my assistant manager to pick it. So I just looked at the league table and apparently I have three games in hand. But go further down and you see Toronto have five. I have no idea what is going on. Oh look, it's a new series and I'm still giving away fucking penalties. Giovinco's missed it! Oh yeah, of course he scores. What do I even say to these players at halftime? Where's the option for, let's play fucking football, not soccer? Anything I said at halftime clearly didn't work. We can still get back in this! Oh yeah, of course we don't wank. I don't understand anything in this league. 